Hey friends, welcome back to Reed Head Homestead. Welcome back to my front porch makeover that we are working on. Today is my favorite day, absolute favorite day, because today we're gonna be decorating and making over this front porch officially for fall. So I'm so excited to get out all my fall little goodies that I have been gathering and go through the fall decor that I already have and just get this space put together so super sweet. So the first thing that we're gonna be doing tonight is making a sign for this wall here. I already have some decor pieces picked out for this wall, so I'll show you guys that as well. But on this wall, I'm gonna be making a custom sign that's gonna say, welcome to our homestead, relax, sit, enjoy. I got some inspiration from a similar sign like this online and I was like, oh my gosh, that has to happen. Welcome to our homestead. Could it be any more perfect? Absolutely love it. So that is gonna go there. It's gonna be similar to the project that I recently did for my mom's house. I thought, hey, you know what? I'm gonna use the Cricut, make another sign. It's gonna be super cute out here and I feel like it's something I can leave out here all year round, which I'm happy about too. If this is the first video that you guys are tuning into on my little front porch makeover, I definitely encourage you to check out the other little DIYs that I've done here. I made this cute little side table and then also over here, I made these planner boxes. I'm excited to do another little DIY and do some decor in this space. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I already primed my board here. I cut it down to size and primed it. Um, for those of you who didn't catch that video where I made this sign, um, this is called, you know, I hear people call it like a lot of different things, but like literally it says yucca board. But a lot of people also just call this hard board. So um, this is the leftover from my mom's. <laughs> um, I already have cut this down and primed it and I did two coats of primer on it and now I'm just gonna do one quick coat of paint and that should be all that it needs. And have you guys seen this super fun trick like floating around on the internet to make like a little spout? Look at how easy that is. Isn't that so awesome? I love this little trick because then you can just toss that right after and it doesn't make a big huge mess everywhere. Here I'm making the frame for the sign. I'm using common one by twos. It took about four one by twos to make this. I'm making sure all my corners are square and I'm using wood glue and brad nails to secure the frame together. I'm putting a quick coat of Minwax stain on in the shade Early American and I topped it with some classic gray just to give it a little bit more of a weathered look. welcome sign last night and so it is officially time to kick off this little decorating spree. I'm so pumped to get this space all decked out for fall. I'm not even going to wait any longer. Let's go ahead and get started. Attention, but it's just the way, the way you want it. 
done and I'm so happy with the way that it turned out. It feels so fall out here, so warm, so cozy. It all started with the Cracker Barrel rocking chairs. Honestly, when I found those, it was like I all of a sudden just had a vision for this space and I just love the way that it turned out. This windmill is something that I've had for many, many years and it keeps making its way around my house and I'm so happy to add it to my front porch this year. I got the little arrangements next to them from Kirkland's and they are referred to as little wall boats. And when I saw them, it was just one of those things that I immediately fell in love with and just had to have. I didn't even know where I wanted them in my home, but I just knew that I had to have them. I think they just make a really nice addition with the windmill out here and just kind of add a little bit of warmth with the greenery and also just some visual interest because they're not really a typical, I feel like decor item, they're a little bit different, but that is really what I just love about them and I think that's why they kind of stood out to me. Now I hope you guys can see my vision of why I was so elated the other night to find the paint color for the little side table that I made. I felt like it was really going to tie in all of the decor behind it with the you know a little bit of gray tones and everything and just kind of pull all of that together and I just love the way that all those colors are different but muted at the same time and they all just kind of somehow came together and just complement one another so of course I am so obsessed with the welcome sign you know it's coming on almost one year since I started Reed Head Homestead and I can't believe how the time has flown by and so to have this part of our home it's become such a big part of our lives such an important part of our lives and and I just feel like it's so special to have this here when you walk into our home it just feels like welcome to Reed Head Homestead I'm letting you guys into my home into our lives and I'm just so happy to be able to share this chapter with you guys and I just love the way that this turned out for my front door I picked up this really beautiful wreath this year this is from at home I love the velvet pumpkins on it and the oversized pine cones I found this sweet wagon from TG Maxx I was so excited to find this I love the way that I was able to dress it up for fall with some sweet little pumpkins and a simple throw blanket. It was so easy to style. I feel like I'm gonna be able to use it for all the seasons. I'm so excited to decorate it for Christmas, but I'm really happy I get to enjoy it for fall. So here's how everything looks as you walk up to our front door. How fun and festive. And I love that I'm gonna have a lot of staples out here that I can carry into other seasons. And it just feels a little bit muted for fall, but it's got some pops of that orange and color. I cannot wait for the weather to cool off a little bit more. I'm gonna be right there with my cup of coffee in the morning. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how all of this has come together from all the little DIYs and just seeing everything come to life in fruition. I'm so glad to have the fall porch of my dreams. This is something I've wanted to do for years and years. I am not kidding you when I tell you that I have probably hundreds of fall front porches pinned on Pinterest. <laughs> and I'm glad to finally have one of my own because I have never had that. In the seven years that Mark and I have been married, we have never done a fall front porch. So when I say I've been manifesting, I mean I have been manifesting. <laughs> So I've received a number of comments from you guys asking if I am going to be showing the interior of my home for fall. And of course, you betcha I'm gonna be showing you guys. So be on the lookout for those videos because I have still all the spaces in my home to decorate. So I'm running a little bit behind because I'm trying to get all this out for you guys. So just be on the lookout for those videos. They are coming and I am psyched. So stay tuned for that. As always, thank you so much for hanging out. I really appreciate all your love and support. It really does mean the world. I hope you guys are having so much fun getting decorated for fall this year. Thank so much for hanging out. I always have more in store, so stay tuned, stick around, and I will catch you really soon. Bye!